Welcome to the channel everybody and thank you so much for joining me today. We are playing RimWorld and this is episode number 41 of our Mechanitor run. Let's do it full speed ahead. How's everybody doing today? All right, so uh, we've still got this quest here. We've got to decide about, uh, let's see here. I think I've made my choice. I'm going to go with the top one for the honor. We're going to accept that with Larson. Now we do, that means we've got 22 insect hives incoming. Um, it's most likely they'll spawn somewhere here inside the mountains. I'm betting down here. But uh, also it's equally possible, maybe not equally, but it's possible that they could spawn outside um, in one of these areas. So I'd like to maybe wait just until some of these traps are finished, although half of them are. But, uh, you know, the front half have all the stone ones. So uh, that would be nice. And that quest doesn't... Uh, go away for another six and a half days so we just kind of monitor the rest of the colony B -b -b plasteel okay okay oh nice nice yeah this was that spot that we dug into that we ended up finding four different resources including compact uh, machinery we've got steel we've got jade and now we've got compact plasteel over here and there was like a little patch of uh compact machinery there in the middle too so that was fun great little spot but uh this is kind of just multi-purpose rooms we're just digging i'm just giving him something to do trying to find min minerals and resources uh speaking of which i think what we want to do now um research wise we're doing pretty good i've got not the most i don't have everything obviously we're still missing a few things but i've got the marine armor the recon uh, we need the vitals monitor for sure but i want to switch over i think to some uh, pretty intense scanning and also we're going to build the long range mineral scanner i think i've researched that yeah we're gonna build one of these um i'm a little nervous about my power situation but we'll deal with that i'm going to probably just forbid this for now we're not gonna have a make it right away because we're not actually hurting for anything at the moment but i know that like eventually plasteel becomes so difficult to find and even components maybe you know might be something good just to help boo get ahead of the game um if we get a couple crafting robots though i'll make a fabrication bench just dedicated to components and stick the robot on that uh that that seems like a smart idea robots making components all right there we go so we're gonna shrink that down i think i'll probably refloor this here is that marble no must be granite yep granite okay we'll put that there very good we'll give him a chair too all right excellent so like i said we'll hold off on that for now but uh, oh one commenter one of my uh loyal commenters who's just come back from uh, a long holiday work i imagine it was holiday work same here but uh mention that the tesseron is the way to go so i think what we're gonna do is look to maybe uh get a couple more of these bad boys i do like the legionnaire too because he's got the uh, little shield where is he there he is yeah he's got that little shield on him boom helps uh, protect a little bit also he's got he needs a launcher no no i'm kidding it says needle launcher <laughs> i can read okay so uh yeah we might pop another couple of those i don't think we have any i think we're actually totally out of our chips and uh, rip scanning cores or whatever so yeah we're just gonna have to wait on that but don't worry next set of prisoners we get we're gonna be rip scanning their brains off so no worries Oh, so, uh, you know, I had mentioned that the uh, paramedic doesn't fail surgeries or that I had been told that. So it's not 100% certain. It hasn't been truly tested. It's not like in the notes or anything, patch notes. So it's uh, just something that, you know, we were trying to monitor to make sure. So what I want to do is I want to get these beds replaced eventually, get some... Um, uh, vitals monitors in here get this place basically up to as good as it can be and then we're going to test this out we're going to watch and make sure the medic you know doesn't fail i guess honestly if we were trying to provoke failures from the medic droid i would want to keep it like this or even lower the standards wouldn't i but that's not really the goal i just want to keep i just want to monitor that situation same with the constructoids i'm fairly certain that these guys don't fail in their buildings they're slow but they don't fail. I've never gotten a notification that I can recall of a constructoid failing ability. Anybody who has, please let me know in the comments. 
but that's something you know it's like you can't never truly confirm it because the, the first time it actually happens it's you know it negates every you know every uh instance there before but uh you know we'll watch it we'll see how things go it's our long-running experiment basically see if the mechs can fail at their jobs or not <laughs> Well, I've decided while we don't have any of the larger subcores that I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a, another constructoid, another lifter. We can always have, we can always use more constructoids for this trap thing up here, which is, seems like it's under constant construction. But uh, also, I'm noticing, you know, there's a lot of stuff still just kind of laying around that I'd like to get picked up. So we're gonna we're gonna have ourselves another lifter. Also, I'm trying to keep these stone chunks handy for our construct or the uh, stone cutters. I mean, as you can see, they're yeah, they're they're staying well ahead of the stone chunks here. We need more of them. They're having to go for long walks to get these. It's kind of slowing down our granite production too. So that's why we need lifters. But yeah, just thought I'd show that off. And we are just looking at. 44 of 54 on his bandwidth so yeah and i have maxed out pretty much this area here so that's what we'll end up doing over here i think is uh setting up some bandwidth one thing i want to do though before we summon these hives too for sure is lay down some wall here yeah i want to block these rooms off in case we do end up getting um bug spawn around this area let's see here it's only 25 the uranium's probably better spent elsewhere but i'm going to do this now because i'm short on wood and if these do spawn bugs the uranium will be helpful also one thing i like to do is kind of segment off some of these interior um corridors here so for instance i would block this yeah like this here with the door so that that's its own segment. Um, I'm not gonna use uranium. I'll just use uh, more stone here, that's fine. That's probably what I should do with these. Yeah, we'll just use like marble doors since I'm getting low on uh, granite. But uh, marble's flimsy as heck though. We'll have to replace those. But yeah, this segment's off this. So if it, you know bugs do spawn up here, they won't necessarily be hitting or aggroing on my pawns if they happen to walk near them and we're not ready. And I'll probably do something for down here just like that. So let's uh, block this off. Of course, it's all still part of the compound. It's just now people have to walk through the doors to get there. Okay, see, that's not bad. Also, it can help for temperature regulation purposes too, if you're trying to just regulate a small little branch of your hallway. But uh, anyway, I think we're good. Oh boy, Morez's uh, pregnancy has progressed from first to second trimester. That's awesome. Now we are prepared, I think, as prepared as I'm aware of. We've got a couple of cribs here. We've also got the little thing, you know, the little learning area where uh, Cole, Cole is participating. Cole's doing well. I think he's progressed quite well in our colony. We've picked the best traits we could for him. Quick sleeper, too smart. Um, I wish his medical was a little bit higher, but it's hard to get training on that, I think. But he's doing great. Animals, mining is another one. I hope we can give him a passion for that because right now we do need more people working on the deep drills and he's been handling that really well. So I'm happy with the baby so far. Really excited to see what uh, Morez's child looks like. I believe she's married to Artur, who is, is he baseline? I think he's, no, 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 that's right. He's a dirt mole. Dirt mole, yeah. So uh, another thing I had talked about was I was um, mystified by the fact that some of the traits on my pawns had disappeared. Well, it turns out those had been rolled into, because of the update, the integration update between the different expansions, which is awesome. They've rolled that now into basically, if we look at, for instance, Moraz here, the Impid, she now has, an instead of being a pessimist trait, which kind of locks out other trade possibilities. Um, now she has, do, 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 where is it? Genetic pessimism. It's just a natural mood debuff. So then that counts for everybody, except one of the things I've noticed is that the high maid, Saku, he still has genetically dictated, dictated traits here. And they don't lock out, you know, I guess trade slots because he's got four of them, but um, he's still kind and delicate. <clears throat> which is interesting but yeah i guess those you can't really turn into moodlets so they have to stay as traits i assume but i still love them i still love all my genetic pawns let's look at the rest of them see if any of them still have like 
Yeah, Psychically Dull is still a genetic for the furries. For the Etakin, I will never call them by their proper name. It's always going to be furry. Whoa. Ooh, I have. I, I was going to say, I guarantee there's going to be a termite in this raid. And there is. Okay, well. Let's do this. Um, hmm. does, of course they're going to attack immediately. Yeah, that's all the max do. Well, this isn't bad, actually. Not a single centipede? What? Randy's, like, underestimating us, I think, here. All right, so what should be the best strategy? Let me get everybody mustered up. We're going to figure things out. And we're going to defend our stockpile of Plasteel. Oh, and the rest of the base, too. Okay, I've got all the mechs moving up here. They're going to the front lines. We've got uh, Morose here. I just gave her the uh, EMP launcher. Got a bit more range on it. So hopefully that'll help us control any stragglers or any mechs that want to come for the human component of our defense here. And we're going to move everybody out, I think. Hope nobody hits a trap here. All right, let's get these guys front and center. Yeah, these guys are probably going to take a creaming here while uh, everybody else gets set up. But that's okay. That's basically what they're for. Let's get the Scythers. I want them to just beat the pounding out of this thing. Out of range? Come on, Larson. Seriously, it's going to stand right on the edge of the range right now? Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Oof. Maybe we should have them switch over to this thing. There we go. That's good. Our Tesseron's murdering. I think he's hurting our own people, maybe, but... No, this is good. That Tesseron's badass. Where's the Legionnaire? He's slow. He's very, very slow. <clears throat> Not sure why that guy's hanging back. Okay, where is... B -b -b Moraz... She in the last, yeah, she's in the last spot there. I'm just going to have her start firing right into the heart of these guys here. Hopefully, yeah, it looks like they're staying aggroed onto our mechs and stuff here. Let's move our Tesseron to flank a little bit. We can get a, hopefully he can get a, bit on, a beat on some of these guys out here. Yeah, just start laying waste to those. I don't know how effective he really is against other mechs, but, um... We're going to find out, aren't we? All right, we're good. We're good. Yep, we lost a Scyther. Lost two Scythers. Where's our third Scyther? Hold on, Larson. I can never find the shield. There it is. This guy's fighting off two. Let's give him a little help. Uh, his shield is now helping the other Max, though. Look at this. Look at this. Handled. All right, Tesseron, go for this guy. Nice. Did we take a single injury to our organics? Oh my god, Larson did take a hit. He got hit with needles. <laughs> wow, I'm kind of shocked. Alright, no worries though. We're doing good here on this raid. We handled that pretty well. Oh look, our... Oh, I was going to say our site there actually survived, but no, they both just died. That's okay. We, uh, we got some decent materials here. We're going to have to put out this fire though. Because I want to save all this stuff here. I'm worried it will burn it. So, let me get the group. Everybody but Larson. Wait, are they set up for the wrong zone? Here, yeah, I've got them in the wrong zone. Alright, we can, we can free everybody for now. Okay, let's free the animals. I'm actually thinking about training up a whole new crop of dogs here. Or wolves here. I, I want to start maybe incorporating these guys into our combat more. Um, as especially as raids get more and more difficult, that's probably going to be helpful. Not as helpful as the mechs, but you know, it's kind of like with the wolves. It's just something I can forget about. I don't have to worry about like making sub cores and you know, da da da. I can just send them to be trained, and we you know, we'll eventually have our own little army. So I like it. All right, we're going to strategically move Larson so I can get everybody reset here, and then he'll spend the next couple days repairing and re. Uh, resurrecting everything okay well we haven't updated anything in here just yet but larson's going down for a bionic leg i'm going to replace this foot here so he has no more scars on him 
Um, he's doing really well, too, in the terms of his max. He should be getting a nice little mood lift buff for that. Which is good, because he still doesn't have the exact right apparel yet. That should change, hopefully. Um, oh, more arrows. Alright, so we're just watching this little mech here, paramedic, to see if he fails or completes the surgery uh, in a positive way. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Another surgery completed. Good job, little mech. All right, let's just uh, make him go dormant. Oh, I can't do it because Larson's down now. Oh, duh. Legendary. Blue's down here making legendary hats. Yeah, I'm just having to make some cowboy hats for trading and to get our faction influence up and stuff. We need to do some hunting, though, because I need some more textiles. Yeah, oh, look at all this. I'm worried if we set all these guys to hunt, though, we're probably going to end up with a herd of mufflos on our hands. Let me look at my hunters. Yeah, some of them aren't the best, so they're probably going to end up triggering some attacks here. So instead, why don't we do it the old-fashioned way? Will we just grab a group of our gunners and bring them out here? Let's not bring Boo. Yeah, we'll bring Boo. Oop, actually, I want the whole group, guys. There we go. Doesn't look like a lot of firepower here, but most of them are wearing, are carrying at least excellent, possibly masterwork uh, weapons. So, this should be able to melt through these guys pretty easily. And the uh, blue fur is always nice to make clothing out of for selling, for trading. All right, maybe this turkey will get it too. Who is going so slow? Artur, do you not have a leg? Oh, he does have a leg. Look at that. I knew it. I knew it, didn't I tell you? Shoot, probably should have brought the max out here too, huh? Damn. I hate not having run and gun. It is so annoying. Maraz, what are you doing? Oh, he's smelting. All right, you help out. Tungus just got stunned. They're all going after Tungus. Boo. Don't you, how dare you touch Boo. Alright, well it wasn't the uh, cleanest way to do it, but we managed, we managed. Uh, Dungus, are you okay buddy? Your health is like at halfway. No immediate threat, nose shattered. Oh well. No worries, just another reason to install bionics there. All right, so now we got some good old meat, though. This guy will probably go down on his own. But, uh, yeah, like I said, not the cleanest way of doing things, but uh, we, we got a little bit of muffalo out of it. Well, we've got a couple of days left, but everything's repaired. The traps are all set, so I think it's time. Now is as good a time as any. Let's accept this with Larson. Of course, we're going for the honor, the architect arm, uh, the advanced components, and the uranium. Very nice. We get one trooper out of this. What do you look like? I hope they're melee, but if they're not, we're probably still gonna make them melee. Now they got a stupid LMG. Here. That's okay. They're gonna become melee. They shall become melee. Oh boy, that was quick. All right, that's it. This is for the quest. Yep, okay. Down here, down here, not bad. See, now you can see. Well, my tunneler's probably gonna get it, but. Well, not necessarily. I'll bring him up. Let's get Larson. Um, we'll go ahead. I'm going to get this all set up here. Bring all our melee folks over. We're going to take care of this right away. Okay. Well, we're getting everybody set up here. And I think to give these guys a little bit more experience, I'm going to have these guys on the front. Um, these three here. I want them to do most of the killing for this. But I do, as you can see, I do have my scythers ready. And where's he going? Oh, no, no. Hold on, buddy. What? Oh my god, as soon as I opened that door, Larson went on a mental flipping break. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, it looks like it's just this team right here. Um, the three front guys have drank their uh, go juice, so I think I'll just, I guess I'll have everybody drink some go juice since Larson's piecing out on us. Damn it, the door just got closed. All right, perfect. Yeah, I think we can probably handle this. There's a lot of bugs, but 
Oh man, it would have been so great if the mechs had stuck around. Look at them, now they're all just scattered. Christ. Okay, so let's just keep a close eye on these three up front. I think these guys are going to be okay. Look at them. Let's take a quick look. Brawler, ugly, great memory, plus 10 on his melee. He's a chemical interest, bloodlust, and brawler. He's loving that Goji's too, flowing through his veins right now. They both got plasteel long swords of the masterwork quality. And of course, we got Moroz on the flank here. She's nine. Can we do the fire spew? I don't, uh, you know, it's close quarters. I'm not going to mess with that. This is too, this is too questionable. So I'm not going to start spewing fire. We literally have everybody up here except like Larson and Saku. Kina's in the recharger. And without our mechs, we can't really bring any other strength to bear here. How you doing, buddy? Oh my God. Death in 12 hours. I'm going to get Saku up here just so she he can grab Strange if need be. Because Curse might have to take that spot. Do not... Oh my god, it's going to go right up in the middle of the fight. Okay. Lucky. Fine. Rose, fine. Mm, a little worried about Strange, but we'll just hold him. He's doing okay. The another thing is these guys are both really young. He's 17, he's 15. So they're going to become just, as long as they survive, they're going to become crazy good fighters. Here comes another lifter. Hey, even Thakrazaz here has gotten a uh, hit. Okay, I think we're going to survive this though. Let's look. Ooh, got, a, got a few more bugs waiting their turn. Hey there, Saku. Thanks for coming to join us. We might have a little issue here with Strange. Mm. Another uh, commenter told me last time, I think it was Lockie got seriously injured and he was like slowly death walking all the way to the hospital. I should have just forced him to stand still with the, by drafting him and then I could make Laku force tend him right there on the spot. We might do that with Strange. Because I don't know, if he doesn't fall, yeah, look at that. If he doesn't fall, it's going to be kind of tough to get him to uh, go back to the hospital in time. Let's move these guys in. Clean that out. So Saku, yeah, we can have him tend. Tend to Strange. Beautiful. That is so nice. Now, these guys are okay. They'll make it to the hospital fine. Strange, I am a little worried about. He's not as bad as he was, but or could be, but I think they handled that infestation really well. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's kill, kill, kill. Hunt. Anything that's alive still. Just making sure Strange is okay. Just making sure. He, him and his partner there, Locky, are quickly becoming my two favorite pawns. I, I don't know why, I just always end up loving the beefy, like, frontline tank guys. They're the best. Alright, let's check him now. Okay, Saku's walking away, so he must be fine. Yeah, he's all patched up. Could possibly get an infection, but it's whatever. Larson, where's the corpse you brought? Oh my god, he literally dug up Deja Kin. That's terrible, Larson. You horrible, horrible person. Yeah, we'll have to rebury Deja. Okay, look at the little tunneler. He's just going right back at it. Oh, we lost the clean sweep there. Damn, didn't even notice that. Probably one of the bugs got to it. Well, let's clean this out. Got ourselves a whole mess of that... Uh, Insect jelly, which I hate. Dietrich went berserk? Hideous environment. Listen, bro. Nobody likes it here. These these furries, man, you just can't turn your back on them. They're wild animals, basically. <gasps> oh my god, he just got flippin' killed. Jesus. Look at... Look at Artur's eyes. You can tell Artur's the one who did it. I don't know who did it, actually. Oh man. You've got to be kidding me. He was one of our best colonists. One of the originals. Oh, Dietrich. I'm so sorry, brother. Look at that. 20 animals? 12? Oh. He's a candidate for resurrection if I've ever seen one. But sadly, we don't have the resurrect mech serum. Gosh darn it. That's so sad. <clears throat> 
choked up a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. But that does stink, though. Wow. Ugh. Okay, well, paid a price for that raid. Even though the raid, the infestation itself wasn't terrible, we paid a price. We did get an architect arm, though, so that's pretty freaking sweet. Okay, so uh, the trooper will leave and... Yeah, as soon as Larson gets out of that mental break, I'm going to have all the uh, mechs assembled and repaired and stuff. Let's get uh, Dietrich's going to have to be buried, obviously. I would love to stick him in a crypto sleep, or not a crypto sleep, just a regular uh, casket here in the freezer. But look at our freezer. I was thinking about expanding it, moving it over here, or making like a large chunk of this dedicated to the freezer. I still might do that. If we can ever get caught up on our waste packs though you know i could i could convert this into walk-in freezer but um i don't know i'm gonna have to kill the uh <coughs> Pakraton like 10 more times i think before i can do that <laughs> oh boy anyway guys unfortunately we have reached the end of the episode and i'm very sad about that i'm very sad about this episode dietrich has passed away folks there he is let's give him one final send off goodbye good friend i don't know who we're gonna have working in the animal handling oh my gosh we have two people cole is like one of them too wow 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 oh boy anyway guys thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate you guys stopping by and spending time with me come back tomorrow we're gonna have a brand new episode up if you enjoy the content hit like and subscribe and i will see you on the next episode